everybody. If you love spaghetti carbonara, but you're looking for a healthier, less caloric version, don't fret because Sophie Uliano is here with a solution. I, I have. love this, Sophie. Yes. First of all, um, spaghetti carbonara has how many calories? It has about, for an average portion, about 1,400, 14 to 1,500. And how much is the one what? we're making? 300. Wow, if wow. that's not a reason to eat this, I don't know what is. Yeah. And it doesn't lose any of the flavor either, does it? No, it doesn't, and it's completely plant-based. And I made it because my daughter's a teenager, she loves carbonara, and I wanted to make something super healthy for her. Okay, and she doesn't, she doesn't she doesn't miss any of it. She doesn't miss it. She tasted this, she was very, very wary of this one, but she went, you got it. Okay. So it. what do we have to do to make this? All right, are you ready, folks? Uh -huh. yes. All right, well, so what eating. I have here is I have, um, I've heated a little bit of avocado oil. Okay. I love avocado oil, it's healthy, it has a high smoke point. Now to that, I'm adding a little bit of minced garlic. Now we're adding garlic because I just want it to infuse the dish. Can you taste the garlic mm. in it? It's very, very subtle. Mm, subtle. But you want to stir it so that it doesn't Good. burn. Again, we're at a low heat here. Okay. Then, all right? Low heat. Now, everyone, this is the key to this sauce, right? I am using cornstarch, an inexpensive ingredient. And the cornstarch actually gives it this velvety, silky mm -hmm. texture, which you can yeah. probably like taste. Like the carbonara cream. Just yeah. like the carbonara. Like so what I've done here, I've made a slurry, which is cornstarch with a little bit of liquid. And in that goes, and you make a slurry so that the cornstarch doesn't clump up. Get, otherwise, it'll get lumpy if it'll you get a little bit dilute lumpy. It a little bit. Now I'm going to turn the heat right up here because you want to get it going at quite a fierce boil and you're going to add the rest. I'm adding here a dairy-free milk. You can use soy, you can use almond, whatever your preference. Debbie, could you please stir that I will for stir. Me? Mm. So now, basically we're making a faux bechamel. It is just like a bechamel, plant-based, okay. easy. Right, then I'm going to flavor it. And as the flavorings are so important when you're cooking oh plant-based food. Good, so. so in here I'm going to pop in a little bit of lemon juice. Then I'm going to pop in some miso paste, uh, which gives it a really lovely depth of flavor. It appears Kenny and Mark do not like it at all. As they're looking <laughs> yeah. it down yeah, over there. <laughs> now I'm using nutritional yeast, which Rich, you probably know about nutritional yeast. It's a great alternative instead of cheese if you're plant-based, and it has a lot of B vitamins in it. But it tastes very creamy and cheesy. It, that's, that, that's that is because nutritional, of nutritional yeast. It's cheesy. Yeah. yeah. Then we're going to put in uh, some oh black pepper, gosh. quite a lot. Uh, and is this like a um, oh, uh, we got uh, sorry, sorry, no, Debbie. I just, is this like a typical bechamel sauce that you have to keep stirring because if you don't, it'll stick? Absolutely, okay. and start whisking it now. Have okay. I got it all over you, Debbie? No, that's all right. All right, so what you want to do is you want to whisk it, boil it at a very, very high heat. It'll mm. thicken up, it'll get silky, and you'll get this thick sauce. And then... The final thing that we're going to do is you're going to take your pasta. You can always use gluten-free pasta if you prefer. I'm using a regular spaghetti here. Mm -hmm. And when this sauce is fully thickened up, it'll take about five minutes, you're going to put in your pasta like so. Okay. And then you might want to use the tongs there, Thank Debbie. You. And then finally, the final thing that you're going to do is you're going to add some bacon. I'm using plant-based bacon here. It is this bacon. This is here. what you had on the show last yes, week, right? Yes, and I wanted you to taste it. Yeah. It's completely plant-based. And mm -hmm. Mark, you're the bacon aficionado. Yes, what I do am. you think? <laughs> what it, we oh, this your... is phenomenal. I've been wanting, but I want to taste it without the. Can I taste it out of the? Thing? Yes, you may. You know? And I want to just tell you one other little secret ingredient that I'm putting in is something called liquid smoke. Uh -huh. And liquid uh -huh. smoke gives it that carbonari-ish taste, right? Mm -hmm. So is liquid? I always liquid smoke is okay to. This, like that? this is what it looks like and is absolutely safe. It's safe. Yes. So it's not bad for you. No, not I at all. I had no idea. Now, Debbie, why don't you taste here? I've got a little there. What do you think of the bacon, Mark? I think it's delicious. It's okay, wonderful. Let me see. Especially because I know it's healthy. Let me see. Yes, stuff, exactly. You know? So tell me what you think. And then I have a little, I put a little bit of vegan parmesan on as well. You guys tried that. I'm going to send people over to our website and uh, you can get the recipe Sophie. there. And Sophie's website also <laughs> has more wonderful, healthy, good nutrition. I need some right, girl, you have done it right? again. She's done it again. You're We're going to come right back. Like uh, we can get him away delicious. from the carbonara. We're going to ask him to perform again for us. Kenny Loggins, when we come back. Yeah. Yeah.